Okay, it's Tuesday night, it's Rockstar Rally night. I'm Jennifer Anderson, Superstar Director of Radiant Rockstars, and it's my favorite night of the week where I get to spend it with all of you. Um, tonight we're talking about recruiting, which is the number one most requested topic every time I ask anyone what they want to talk about. So let's dive right in. And I'm just going to tell you guys right off the bat, you have serious hangups with recruiting, okay? <laughs> Serious hangups with recruiting, and I get it. I get it because I used to too. And honestly, when I first joined Sensi, I did not want to build a team, and I didn't want to like recruit, or I didn't want to be like that direct sales person who recruited people. That was like a huge fear of mine, right? Like recruiting was a huge fear. And if you want to call it recruiting, call it sponsoring, call it whatever you want. I I don't really care. I'm not afraid to call it recruiting. A lot of people are, so they want to call it something softer like sponsoring. That's fine. But I'm totally okay with calling it recruiting. I'm going to turn my little light on here. Oh, that helps. Um, so I am, uh, I, I want to tell you that I've been there if you're afraid of it, or if you have hangups over it, or if you're like, I just don't know how to do this, or I don't know how to get over this, or I just can't seem to build my team, no matter what, I want you to know that I've been there, okay? If you're like, I don't really know if I wanna build a team, I've been there too. Um, I didn't know that I wanted to build a team until I started to actually build a team and then saw the possibilities and saw what could happen um, when you build a team. And you guys, we haven't like officially celebrated yet, but Radiant Rockstars is over three thousand consultants strong <sighs> from someone who didn't want to build a team and here we are so it's so freaking cool and so amazing and that's such an incredible milestone and I just want you to know that that same opportunity is available to each and every one of you there's no reason that you can't have a group of three thousand someday as well okay um so if you watched my video from last week, which was basically just like my best business tips, I think that was last week, um, all the business tips where I talked about, you know, like having your mindset and setting your mind right and have like getting your mind right first thing in the morning and like conquering your day in that way. I want to let you know that recruiting is also a mindset. Okay. And that's really kind of where we have to start. And just like you hear me talk about everything else in your business, Every battle you ever face is won or lost, where? In your mind, okay? Every battle you ever face is won or lost in your mind. I have said that for years. I will say it over and over and over again. I firmly believe that to be true. And even in this recruiting game, this sponsoring game, you will win or lose this battle in your mind. So if you're sitting here telling yourself like, I can't recruit or I just can't get anyone to join my team or I'm just like stuck or you guys, I'm just telling you right now, that's what's going to be your reality for as long as you keep telling yourself that. Your mind is your most powerful tool. It's your most powerful tool. So if you're saying I'm stuck or this is hard, I just want you to know that reality is not going to change for you. And that may not even be your reality. It may just be your mindset, but that won't change until you change your mind. You have to win that battle in your mind. You have to decide that you are a great recruiter and that you're not afraid of recruiting, that you are a great sponsor, that you have what it takes, that you deserve to have a team. You have to teach your mind all of these things because your mind wants to believe that you're stuck and you can't do this and this is hard. That's what your mind wants to believe because honestly, guys, that's the path of least resistance. That's the path of a fixed mindset. The path of a growth mindset where we learn from our struggles and learn in opportunities, that's not the path of least resistance. That's the hard path. A growth mindset takes work. It takes self-examination. It takes admitting where you have pitfalls or, admit, or even sometimes admitting things you're great at, and that can be hard for some people. If you struggle with feeling worthy of success or worthy of having a team or worthy of doing anything great, it can even be hard to admit, hey, I'm, I'm a great sponsor. I'm a great recruiter. I'm good at this. That can be really difficult to admit. So just like every battle you ever face in your life and in your business, 
it's won or lost in your mind and that's really where you need to begin. So cut the crap right now, okay? And stop talking ab about yourself negatively. Stop talking about recruiting negatively. Stop referring to it as something that you can't do or that's hard or that's out of your, out of your depth or something that you weren't born to do or something you're not gifted in because none of those things are true and they're all lies. So you're gonna break that cycle right now because nothing changes if nothing changes. You hear me? Nothing changes if nothing changes. And you have to start with the change in your mind. I need you to also know this, that it's a long journey, okay? Recruiting is really about relationships. And if there's anything that probably all of you know about relationships, it's that relationships are not built overnight. Relationships are long journeys. They're they're, they're learning, they're giving and taking, and it's seeing people and knowing people over time and watching them struggle and rejoice and grow all of, through all of those things together. I mean, it's about building relationships. So just like building relationships, recruiting is a long journey. It's a long haul game. And it's something that you're going to continue to do for the rest of your Sensi career. Because no matter where you're at in this business, you have to keep bringing new people in because if you have a team at all, you know that people fall off all the time or people lose interest or people have life changing circumstances and they stop focusing on their business or people who were once rocking it in their business just aren't anymore because something happened in their life or they just chose not to, or they gave into excuses or their mindset wasn't right. And they decided that they couldn't do this anymore. Right. By the way, just so you know, sometimes you have that flip side where someone comes in and doesn't do a dang thing and you think like, gosh, these people aren't going to do anything on my team. And then they blow your mind some point later on down the road. So just let that be a lesson to never, ever, ever, ever give up on anyone ever. Okay. It's a long haul journey. Okay. You must have a recruiting mindset. Just like we talked about last week about having those sensi goggles on where you're kind of looking at every person you meet through your Sensi goggles and through your Sensi lenses, that's what you're doing when you're recruiting. It's, a, it's about a lifestyle of recruiting. It's not just something you do, it's kind of who you are. It's sharing this opportunity with people. But recruiting, it, it's not about join my team. Recruiting is not about join my team. Recruiting is not about building my team numbers, about growing this here, growing that. Recruiting is about who needs this. Plain and simple, who needs this? Recruiting is about who wants this? Who loves Sensi so much and just wants to do this? Cause they wanna see all this stuff first and they wanna get a good discount. Who, recruiting is about who would be great at this? Who would be great at this? And let me tell you, sometimes people will shock you that the people that you think wouldn't be great at this or the introverts or the people that um, don't ever leave their house or the people that, um, you know, don't like people, right? Sometimes those people find great success in Sensi. But I know when I said who would be great at this, a couple people popped up in your mind. You had a few people that you thought of. Who would be great at this? People who are successful already in business, people who are go-getters, people who are outgoing, people who um, you know, are, are, want to learn and want to grow, people who want to goal set in their life, people who want to do big things. But the first question I asked is, who needs this? Who needs this? You guys, we have something incredibly beautiful and magical and wonderful here. And the way that I look at it is that I'm all, by me not sharing this opportunity with someone, I'm almost robbing them of great potential joy, of potential great success, of, of community. I'm robbing them of personal growth. I'm robbing them of financial freedom. I'm robbing them of opportunity. And you know what? It's not fair for me to have this beautiful, magical, wonderful secret and not offer it to everyone around me and not share it with everyone around me. Recruiting is about who needs this, who wants this, 
who would be great at this? Everyone, you guys have maybe heard me say this before, maybe not, but everyone has a problem and Sensi is their solution. What I mean by that is, I don't mean like everyone has a problem. <sighs> what I mean is Sensi is the solution for so many different problems in people's lives, okay? Maybe someone needs community. Do we have community? Yeah, we have it even virtually and not even being able to be together. We have an incredible community. Maybe someone needs extra money. Do we have extra money? Do we have the opportunity to earn extra money through our Sensi businesses? Yeah, big time. Maybe someone needs personal growth. Do we do that here? Do we stretch ourselves? Do we teach ourselves that we can do things we didn't think we could do? Do we encourage each other? Do we change our mindset? Do we look at the bright side of life? That's all personal growth stuff. Maybe someone needs that. Maybe someone needs encouragement. Do we do that here? Yeah. Everyone has a problem and Sensi is their solution. That's what I mean. What your job is as a recruiter is to find their problem. Find out what their problem is and then show them how Sensi is their solution. As a great recruiter, it's your job to find their need and then show them how Sensi fills that need or Sensi can solve that need. People need those solutions, you guys. People need those solutions. And re recruiting, when, when we look at recruiting and we're like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. This is a tough part of this business. I can't do it. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. That makes it all about me, all about us. Recruiting should instead be about what do these people need? How can I help? How can I offer solutions to these people's legitimate needs? Think about the needs in your own life that you have or had that have been fulfilled via your Sensi business. Think about the needs in your own life. All of us have them. We've all, whether you've been a consultant for one week, one month, a year, five years, you've all had some sort of need that's been fulfilled with a Sensi business. Maybe it's even just, I buy this stuff so much, I need to get a discount on it. I need to make commission back on it. Guys, that's a legitimate need. People need that need. Pe people need that solution. People need the solutions. All that you need is the confidence to have a conversation with them. All that you need is the confidence to talk to them about the solution to their problem. That's all that you need. All you need is to start. All you need is to try. All you need is to change your mindset and get over the dang hang up of recruiting. Because if you can sell Sensi, then you can recruit. They're really the same thing. Because how many of you would say that you don't sell Sensi, you just share it? How many of you would say that? Lots of you. You're like, I'm not really a salesperson, but I just like to share this stuff. You guys, that's exactly what sponsoring is. That's exactly what recruiting is. It's sharing the opportunity. Now, is there a right way to do it and a wrong way? Absolutely. Let's talk about the wrong way. The wrong way is join my team for $99. Nobody gives a flip. Okay. That's not compelling to anyone. You're not showing anyone how Sensi meets their needs. That's very inward focused, okay? It looks, it looks like it's all about you. That's a wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is to find the need and it's different for each individual person and the only way you find that is through relationship. Find the need and offer the solution. What you have to do is tailor your presentation of the Sensi business opportunity to their specific need. 
Okay. So if someone needs community, you don't talk about financial freedom. You don't talk about extra money. If someone needs extra money, you don't talk about community because that's too mushy gushy and they just need hard facts. How much can I make? Does that make sense? You have to make sure you have to know your audience. And the only way to know your audience is to build relationships with people. The foundation of all recruiting is authentically connecting. The foundation of all recruiting, I'm going to say that again. The foundation of all recruiting is authentically connecting, authentically connecting with people, not connecting with people to say, Hey, join my team, but authentically connecting with people, getting to know them, finding out their needs, finding out what makes them tick, finding out how their lives work. The only way to find out how Sensi can be a solution is through authentic connection and relationship with those people. And you can authentically connect with people in Facebook groups. We're doing it virtually all over the world right now. We've been doing it for months. So if you're like COVID, the world is hard. I can't leave. I'm not seeing people. Guys, we all have the solutions to do it virtually. We've been doing it for months, all of us, everyone all over the world. So it's not weird for you to authentically connect with someone virtually. There's, there's nothing weird about it. It's not a hurdle you have to overcome anymore because this is our new reality for the moment. And for maybe who knows how long, right? So get comfortable with it. If it's uncomfortable, uncomfortable for you, get comfortable with it. Because this is how you're going to connect with people virtually. You can do it through Facebook groups, okay? Start to join groups of the things that interest you. I'm a member of groups of people who have pit bulls. I'm a member of a group for new moms. I'm a member of a group for, <laughs> you ready for this? Ina Garten fans. I, some of you are like, who the heck is Ina Garten? Ina Garten is the barefoot Contessa. And you're like, who's the barefoot Contessa? She's a chef. Okay, I'm a member of a group of Ina Garten fans because that legitimately interests me and I'm like a legit barefoot Contessa groupie, okay? <laughs> I wanna be her. <laughs> but seriously, it's about authentically connecting. Join groups of things that actually interest you. I'm about to go find myself a group of Christmas decorations. Some of you need to go find groups of Ray Dunn collectors. You're crazy. So you guys are crazy. Some of you need to go find groups of sweet tea lovers. Okay. Or Spider-Man fans. I don't care. I don't care what your jam is. Go find groups of things that really, really like hit you deep in that and that are your jam and go authentically connect with people. That's how you're gonna build relationships in COVID. That's how you're gonna build relationships virtually. That's how you're gonna build relationships that will eventually turn into business contacts for you. Because the foundation of all recruiting and all sponsoring is authentically connecting. And the only way for you to authentically connect would be to join groups that are authentic to you. So if you are just like, who's Ina Garten and who's the Barefoot Contessa, don't come join my group. You don't know. You ain't a real fan. Okay. Join groups that are your, that are your thing. Do you love the Boston Red Sox? All God's people said, amen. Yes, you do love the Boston Red Sox. No, you don't. It's fine. I do. Do you love doxies? Do you love fashion? Do you love makeup? What do you love? Ask yourself, what do you love? And then go join those groups and authentically connect. Gilmore Girls, heck yes! You guys, I just got the coolest t-shirt. It says, it has like a picture of Luke's coffee cup on it and it says, drink like a Gilmore Girl. It's so cute. It's so cute. I paid way too much money for it, but it's so cute. <laughs> Sushi, I love it. Ray Dunn groups, Christmas decor groups, crochet groups. Yes, NCIS, Grey's Anatomy fans, crafting. Okay, look, all these things. Find 
figure out what your jam is and then go join some of those groups. But don't roll up in those groups and be like, hey, I'm the Scentsy girl, join my team or buy some Scentsy, here's my website. They're gonna be like blocked. <laughs> Build connections authentically. Make friends in there. Send people friend requests after you've connected within the group. Scrapbooking, Halloween groups. Yeah, Laura. Laura says she needs to explore more of Facebook. Yeah, there's all the groups. Anything you could ever think about. There's going to be groups for retired nurses, Laura. Go find you a group of retired nurses. I guarantee it's out there. If you like, if you like tap dancing, if you like Irish music, there's a group for you. Didn't Facebook make a commercial like there's a group for you commercial? Where they had all these crazy weird things? Like if you're, if you're like a donut lover or you like to like, I don't know, I'm not even whatever. I don't know. If you like to clean your lint trap in your dryer, I, I, like, I don't know. There's a group for you, man. For real. Jeep groups, Trader Joe's meals for busy moms. See? Golf groups. They're all out there. It's all about building relationships. Find what's your jam and go authentically connect. Build the relationships. Now look, everyone you build a relationship with, are they going to buy Sensi? Nope. Are they going to host? Are they going to join? Absolutely not. But your life is made better by expanding your relationships. Their life is made better by expanding their relationships. Will some of them buy, host, or join? Yes. If you are presenting the business opportunity properly, if you are authentically connecting and not being spammy and not being salesy and weird, absolutely. Absolutely they will. Of course, IQ is in a Jason Momoa group. Of course you are. Keto group, Bon Jovi. Look at all these amazing things. Yes, even someone said the town you live in. You guys, when I moved to Ohio, there was a Westerville, Ohio networking group. There was a Westerville, Ohio yard sale page, right? Like all these different kinds of things. So many different kinds of things. Go find your groups and authentically connect. Make sure it's your jam and authentic to you because if not, people are gonna see right through it. And that's not the goal anyway, right? It's about finding people that you can help. Finding people whose life you can make better through the Sensi business opportunity. Um, just like I tell leaders, so all of you directors and above, you've heard me say, make them want your job. What I mean by that is when you are leading your team members, it's important to make them want your job. Um, you shouldn't be always available. You shouldn't be working too much. It shouldn't be super hard. It should be fun and enjoyable. Guys, when you are sponsoring and recruiting and looking for people to join your team, it's the same mentality. Make them want your job. If people are looking at you and they think, oh my gosh, that girl never stops working. Oh my gosh, he's working way too much. Oh my gosh, did you see he had to get up at 2.30 in the morning and he's like so tired, <laughs> right? If people only see those kinds of things coming from you, are they gonna want your job? No. If you're complaining about products being out of stock, are they gonna want your job? Nope. What makes people want your job? Having fun, making money, growing personally, free or discounted products, right? All of these things make people want your job, but they don't know unless you share it with them. And you have to share it consistently and constantly, both. Consistently, which means you can't ghost and you can't stop sharing it and you can't peace out for a month and you can't take a month. That's not how it works. You have to share it consistently and constantly. Every day. Every day, in some way, you should be sharing the Sensi business opportunity. Every single day, you should be sharing with your people on social media how much fun you're having. A lot of you, a lot of you guys on Tuesday nights, you record, you record me talking for a few minutes and post it to your stories and you're like, hey, I love Tuesday nights or I love getting together with my rock star family. You know what you're doing? You're showing potential teamies of the community aspect of what we have. You're showing potential teamies about the personal growth aspect of what we have, that you have a leader who teaches you or trains you or pours into you or mentors you, right? 
So by you sharing about being on Rockstar Rally together on Tuesday nights, you're hitting two things, community and personal growth. That's a great thing to share. People don't know unless you share. So share them, share with them how much fun you're having. Take a silly boomerang when like you get a box that came in. Oh my gosh, I need a box. Oh my gosh, I need a scrub, right? Just take a silly boomerang, make it fun and exciting. Guys, someone told me this a long time ago because you might not know this about me, but especially when I first started my business, I had a really hard time having fun. You can ask my husband. When we first got married, he'd be like, will you like have fun? Will you like chill out? Like, will you? I was so um, like work, business, black and white oriented. And this is a huge way that Sensi has grown me over the last several years. I learned to stop and have fun or I learned to like enjoy the moment or not just be so like business all the time. Or not just be so like work, 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 don't take a breath. All work and no play makes Jen a dull girl. Seriously. I might have been a boss, but nobody wants to hang out with me. Right? Have fun. Someone once told me, I think I was probably three or four years into business. There was actually a whole breakout session at a leadership event that I went to about how people want to do what's fun. And that whole breakout session, I was like, oh, this is really hard for me. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do what's fun. I just want to work. I just want to be the boss. I just want to make the money, right? For real, that was my mindset. I was like, I can't have fun because then I'm not making money. Guys, duh, you can do both. But that was like a learning and growing process for me. And I learned that I wasn't being attractive to potential teammates because I wasn't having fun. And even if I was, I didn't know how to communicate it. So I had to learn how to, one, have fun in my business, but then two, communicate it to the world that I was having fun in a way that I felt like was productive. Have fun. People want to do what's fun. Volkswagen, the company Volkswagen did a whole huge study about people doing what's fun versus what they're told to do. And it was, it's like an amazing, I'll try and find the study and share it with you guys, but it was like an amazing revelation for me of like, wow, I really need to show people how much fun that my business is truly. Um, are you making money? Make sure you share it with people. They, they want to see that you're making money. Even if it's like, you're just getting your nails done. Even if it's just like you bought groceries for a special dinner or you filled your gas tank up. Even if it's that, like share that with people, make sure you use the income disclosure statement. Okay. So we don't get in trouble, but share that with people. It's incredibly important. People need to know that you're having fun, making money, growing personally, and that you're getting free or discounted products. Because I always tell my, my potential recruits this, I'm like, hey, Sensi lets us double dip. They let us be the consultant and the host. And when I tell people that, they're like, what? Because you guys, a lot of companies don't do that, by the way. A lot of companies don't do that. Sensi lets us double dip. We can make, both make the commission on all of the products that we sell and take all the host rewards and get free and half price stuff, which I do that myself every single month. Listen, everything that you share or don't share sends a message. Everything you share or don't share sends a message. So make sure you're sharing how you're having fun, making money, growing personally, getting free and discounted products. And if you don't share those things, your people don't know. It's that simple. And you have to share them over and over and over and over and over again because people miss things all the time or they're not sensey obsessed like we are. So they don't read every word and they don't see how much free product you got and they don't see what your hosts paid. You have to keep sharing it over and over and over and over again and not stopping and not quitting. I promise you that's the only way that people are really going to see it. Everything you share or don't share sends a message. Absolutely everything.
So think about that before you post any dang thing. Like Heidi Thompson said in her keynote a few years ago, everything you do matters. Everything you do matters. Whether you think it's inconsequential, whether you think it's no big deal, whether you think it amounts to something or not, everything you do matters. It's a ripple effect. Every single thing you post, everything you think, everything you dream, everything you squash, it all matters. They all compound to big choices or big changes or not big changes. Staying the same. Um, a couple of like practical tips. One of my favorite, favorite ways to start a conversation with someone is just saying, have you ever thought about doing what I do? That's one of the easiest, um, non-confrontational, not offensive ways to start a conversation with someone. But you can't do that with someone you don't know. You can't do that with someone you don't have a relationship with. You can't do that with someone that you know, you just like sent a friend request to, doesn't get you anywhere. That's not working. Don't do that. We're sensey. We don't do that. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? I just posted a story like an hour ago saying, have you ever thought about doing what I do with a yes or no poll? You'll be surprised who clicks yes sometimes. In fact, within five minutes, I already had two people click yes. So what does that do? That opens up the door for me to have conversation or start talking to them, right? Where maybe they were too afraid that no one's gonna come out, you know, it's gonna be pretty rare that people just come out and say to you like, hey, I've been thinking about joining your team. That's pretty rare. But when, when they click yes or they click no, when, when they click yes, they feel like they're in control of the conversation and you're not approaching them because they gave you the go ahead. They basically put the key in and turned it and are just waiting for you to open the door. They unlocked the door for you, but they're just waiting for you to open it. Let me tell you this. Uh, it's important that you track your contacts, track your conversations, track your samples, because if you don't, and you don't follow up with people or you don't reach out to people or you don't see who you did or didn't connect with. I mean, it's just tons of missed opportunity, you guys. I can't say that enough. We've talked about that so much till I'm blue in the face. If you're like, I don't know what to do. Guys, we've had so many conversations about systems and tracking your contacts and like conversation trackers. They're all out there. Go find them. I'm not going to say it again. Okay. I love you. Um, let me tell you this. Stop overcomplicating it, okay? Stop overcomplicating it. You're complicating it. If you're hung up on recruiting or you think it's hard or you think you can't do this or you feel stuck, it's, you're complicating it. Get back to simplicity. It's all about the basics. There's a reason, there's a reason we say buy, host, join. It's a very, very natural progression with Sensi. Someone buys Sensi, they love it so much, they want more, we get them to host with us. And you guys, I already gave you the key to unlocking your hosting with the September switch up, by the way, okay? Use the September switch up to host. And now we have the most magical recruiting tool ever, which is the host exclusive starter kit. Join, boom, buy, host, join. It's literally that simple. If you're like, I can't recruit, get people to host parties. Talk, get, get them to have free stuff. Do the offer the September switch up. Get them, get them in the door hosting parties. Buy, host, join. Stop overcomplicating it. I'm going to leave you with this. The six, most successful recruiters, they just do the basic IPAs, the income producing activities. They just do the basics and they do them better than anyone else. That's it. There's no magic. There's no secret. There's no something that this recruiter has that you don't have. There's nothing else to it other than doing the basics and doing them better than everyone else, which means you don't miss an opportunity and you always follow up and you do the buy host join net very natural progression. That's it. Successful recruiters do the basic things and they do them better. So go be a successful recruiter. You got it. <laughs>